souls that live beyond the veil of darkness, where nightmares are born. Sanity knows no bounds, and ends thrives on the suffering of the dead. Rot in the solace in the souls of the weak. We have taken refuge here among the mortals, in hope. Of a harvest for my innocence. Tread lightly in the search for the voices and stories of the departed. For in shadow hides the evil that lurks within. As the light dies and slowly becomes night, the realm of spirits rule the world. In the darkness of your mind hides your own hidden demons and brings to life your deepest fear. Do you have what it takes to speak to the dead? Do you accept your own mortality in the search for life after life? Have you ever seen a ghost, spirit, or demon? The room became as cold as death itself. Maybe you have. Maybe it was your own subconscious preparing you for death. Come spend some of what's left of your own existence in our search for the answers that are hidden behind the veil. Shed off the blinders and open your mind. We are men. We are incarnate paranormal. And what is up, everybody? How y'all doing? Happy Thursday to ya. Uh, we're at show 199. That magical 200 tomorrow night. And dead, yeah, I already, I already know you're here. You're here early. What else is new? If you're not here, you're lurking here. It's all good. Uh, had some decent EVPs last night. Vexus is here too. Holy shit. We're starting off good. We're starting off on a freaking high note. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's going to be a good show. I honestly don't know how much we're going to get tonight. After last night and breaking through the silence... And all the white noise, we still managed to get a few EVPs and a few good ones. <laughs> Which shocked the shit out of me, but what else is new, right? Uh, yeah. Ready to get rolling and uh, hopefully we can catch something tonight. And there's the ear piercing sound I still need to remove, but... We're going to leave it for a little bit and see what happens. Anyways, unless there's anything exciting going on, which usually on a Thursday night there's not. The interesting comes tomorrow night, and we'll see what happens. But that being said, let's get rolling. Actually, I take that back. Let's uh, do some amplifying first. Oh, come on. I'm going to need to get a new mouse because it is just screwing up all over the place. Let's get up to about, let's get up to there. All right. Better. Oh, 
Okay, this not any. We got that last night. I just started a few few seconds too early, so we're good. Oops. A little slacking on my part. But that, on the other hand, is evidence. But that just might be a door, sh one of the metal doors shutting. I don't know. We're going to find out tonight. Let's see. Debunk early. Oh, before I do forget, let's get back over to full screen real quick. Did get something in the mail today. The po poetry of Jack Rainsberger. Death row inmate, Nevada State Prison. 1964. Only 2,500 copies were ever made. Now I got my hands on one. So, kind of cool getting a poetry book written by one of the death row inmates. I think that's kind of, uh, kind of cool. We might have to read some here in a little bit. Just kind of see what it is. I haven't gone through it yet. And kind of see what went through the mind of a convicted killer. Who was eventually poor? He was eventually, uh, his conviction was eventually overturned. He spent, I think it's the second most time on death row. He spent like, I think, 40 some years on death row. And yeah, he wrote poetry. We'll have to get into that in a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. Deads, yeah. You went there. You went there. He broke into poetry. I have taken it upon my authority to rebuff your access privileges to the main frame system. Yeah, you could have gone there too. I've got nothing on that. I've, I've just got nothing.
but yeah, I, I definitely think uh, definitely think I'll read a couple of these in a little bit. I'm almost scared to touch it because it's so old. But we'll get into it. So how you doing tonight, Sims? You doing better, I hope? I swear to God, if you wrote roses are red, olives are black, or roses are red, violets are black, I want you flat on your back, I'm going to vomit. You know what? If that's in here, I'm going to quit the stream. Ryan bought a Cadillac and a BMW, and you're high as fucking having a midlife crisis. That's... Midlife crisis? You're not even to midlife yet. I don't want to hear that. You are not having a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis would be me buying a BMW, but that would never happen. But you're A OK. -okay. That's what matters. You're A OK. -okay. Listen about playing a game that's. He is definitely midlife. Yes, he is. You know what, what while, while we're waiting for the EVPs, I'm going to hopefully be very careful with this. Copyright 1968. Intro. Updated copyright dates. Uh, this has been uh, republished, but this is an original release. I found it on Amazon for four bucks. So, yeah. Uh, this one is entitled Moral Risk. There is in the air a loneliness, a need, a communicable disease, a reaching out of the here I am, your burthened voice, see me, see me. In truth, I should reach for you, see you. In truth, I should do these things. But who would look at me, reach for me? So it's, it's by Jack Rainsberger. I'm given fair, I'm given full credit. I'm, uh, I'm not TOSing anything. I'm giving full credit and sharing because we're analyzing Nevada State Prison. I'm sure we've got his EVP. So. And let's see, let's see. Some of these are long. Some of these are very long. Then I'll go ahead and read one more. Then we're gonna get back to the uh, get back to the EVPs. This is called Questions for a Trio. If you spend a day in jail, trying to be free, what my what must I ask of humanity? If you died, were buried under a dam, if bombs are sometimes a warship, what my what must I ask of humanity? Because you were jailed, died, buried by yesterday, people alive today. Dare I ask less of humanity? That's actually kind of deep. 
That is actually really freaking deep. That's that's <laughs> that's pretty pretty damn deep. And just like I said, some of these, as you can see, are extremely long. But we'll, we'll get into these in future shows. I just wanted to share a couple with you, so back to the audio. What I really want to do is get my hands on some of the old gaming tokens they had at Nevada State Prison. A lot of people don't know Nevada State Prison had its own casino. The warden let the prisoners put a casino in the prison. They're, they're, uh, they're actual metal tokens. They, they were worth actual physical money that they could use in the prison commissary. It was actually pretty cool. But if you can find them, they cost a, cost a little bit of money. Alright guys, those are the ga There's the tokens right there. Nineteen thirty five, nineteen fifty three, nineteen forty five. So yeah. Kinda cool. Only downside is uh, where the prison, where the casino was, is the original hole. The original hole for the casino for the prison. After they stopped using it as the hole, they converted it into a casino. Then after that, they kind of just closed it down, took everything out. And now it's just uh, you're in a hotel room and on your iPad, Vexus. I get it. You, Wi-Fi and internet in hotels suck, but I appreciate you being here. It's all good. It's all good, man. It's all gravy. But cheers. Jack and Coke. But the main thing is, everybody is here tomorrow night. Just make sure everybody is here tomorrow night. That is number 200. Oh, God, I can't believe we made it to 200. Yeah, guys, I was talking to a guy at work who's uh, going to start streaming, giving the drumming lessons I was mentioning last night. Like, dude, he goes, I got some ideas for you. It's like when I get when I get my new desk, because I'm I'm gonna put an office cubicle in my in my room with the walls and everything so I can use it for sound dampening. So uh, I'm gonna set it up so I have my wall behind me. And I'm gonna have I'm probably gonna lose the green screen for my full screen camera. That way everybody can uh, 
everybody can see my bookshelf and all the ha the haunted shit behind me. Yeah, never drive tired. If you have to watch it later on a VOD, don't risk it. Please don't risk it. I've cleaned up too many accidents in my life. People driving tired. Don't risk it, please. It, it seems like that's what a lot of people are doing right now, Deads. I check the, the I, you know, I, when I sign on the computer in the morning before I go to work, I look, and some of these videos, like, already have, like, 40 and 50 views. Wait a minute here. This is, this is cool. Oh, deads, we've all been there for each other for the past <laughs> past seven or eight years. It's it's all good, you know. We 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 support each other. We all help each other. And it's a good thing. Not a lot of people watch other pe other streamers for eight years. Kind of lose interest after two or three. We all stick around for each other. You have reached enlightenment or you're, uh, you got some drool coming down your chin and you're comatose. Because from what you said earlier, you were stoned AF. So you're, you're somewhat comatose and got a little drool on your chin. I can see it from here. Get that bib for you and just wipe it off. Feel, feel free to send a Cadillac out here. Shit. <laughs> You're stuck with the mommy, mo mommy mobile. What is that, a minivan? Oh, hold on. Okay, that's definitely something. I don't know if that's the team down the hall. But we definitely we definitely got something here. Okay, that's uh I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. That's got to be one of the investigators. That is definitely one of the investigators. So we can debunk that. Yeah, Vexus. Big, dirty mommy milkers.
That's got to be the team down the hallway. Matter of fact, I can guarantee it. There's just too much talking. You know, that, that should honestly be an Olympic sport. And just call it mommy motorboating. I start on that the streams can take a whole nother angle wait 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 hold on all our lives will be nothing but memories but no if if we're doing mommy motorboating life would be nothing but memories not memories memories <laughs> That's a perfect Mother's Day card. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. I grew into the man I was today thanks to the memories. I can't risk I can't risk playing it without getting a TOS. I'll watch it off stream. I, I will. Don't mind. She's high off her ass. Yeah, and her ass is, like she said, is glued to the bed. She ain't going nowhere. 
she's so high right now, she's probably stuck on stupid. And that is a legitimate term for somebody being that high. Just stuck on stupid. <laughs> Neptune, my ass. She's halfway to Uranus. Yes, you set it up for me. You set it up for me, and I just walked right through it. It's like, yeah, I'll pick up on that line. Just hooked it. Him, damn, damn near killed him. Can't stop it. Cotton candy, oh god, too much sugar. Cotton candy ice cream, oof. That was a diabetic stream right there. I'm going to be getting fat at work it is anyway from the food that gets brought in. So in the shit if a guy walked into my house and pulls a gun on me right now I wouldn't be scared. Well... All I can say right now is uh, that if he pulled the trigger, it wouldn't be the first load you ever took. Yeah, Dad, you got a 40? I got my 40. I'm not worried. I got a 40. I ain't freaking scared. I think Vexus is the only one that caught that freaking line that I said.
Yeah, Glock 20, no bueno. Yeah. Got my 40 off to the right. I got my shotgun under the bed. Got my 308 in the closet. Yeah, 308 goes in like this and comes out like this. You're not supposed to leave hickeys in visible places, Sims. Are you an amateur? never knew it was there. Yeah, that's definitely investigators wandering in. How can you not know it's there when you're in front of the mirror putting on makeup? Yeah, I, I, what happened to your neck? I was high as fuck, tried to use a vacuum. Only thing that pops into my mind on that is freaking Doofy. What was it, off Scary, off scary Movie? <laughs> Put me in the room with my vacuum. Sergeant Doofy. Yeah. Call you Harley? Why? Can you suck the chrome off a trailer hitch? You can be like one of my neighbors or forgets to put on the robe when they go for a walk. Oof. It all depends. Oh my god. Be like, oh my god, put something on. You could be like, hey. Texas, you don't ever apologize in this chat. This is not scrolling for me. Yeah, that's kind of the way I look at it, Dads. That's why I'm single. I don't apologize. I am what I am.
If you don't like it, there's a freaking door. Deads could literally feed a family of like nine. Can you have some deer jersey? Okay, deer jerky. I'm right, just making sure here. We got two outdoorsmen here. One avid fisher, one avid hunter. So yeah, there we go here. We're making family in here. Sims, you're turning your back on me. Uh, 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 do I have to ghost you now? Oh my god, it's Ely. Holy shit. Ely, how the hell have you been, man? It's good to see you. Glad to see you're still alive and doing well. No, Sims, you said don't take your dead away. You, you put your you put your focus to deads, and I'm sitting right here behind the camera. You guys come down to Nevada and do that since it's legal. You know, I, I can just I can just see Vexus and Deads now. They're they're they go to their wedding. They're wearing matching camo wedding gowns, carrying thirty out sixes. It's only fitting, right? <laughs> Sims, I thought your ass was glued to the bed. But you... <laughs> wait, 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 Sims. If I want to be the bridesmaid, that means one of these two has to be the bride. You're alive indeed, back in action with a new account and all. From what I heard, Ely, that your wife wouldn't let you back on. At least that's what Bug told me. I miss seeing your name pop on. Miss seeing you live, man. But glad to see you're back. Cheers.
You know, Dad wears a man suit and pre pretends to have stubble. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm really going to leave that one alone. She has two areas that have five o'clock shadow. No, it's just he he said something about your about certain things you not being able to stream for a while. Something with the household. Or if I remember that's what he said, I might be wrong. That you had to cut back on your streaming time because it was affecting uh, personal life. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that just yet. But I am glad you're back. Not related to your household. Fair enough. I am glad you're back. I've got the new PC built. We need to start playing GTA 5 again. If you want to. We all need to get together and play GTA 5. But we're going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, went ahead and threw your channel another follow. Okay, Ely, that makes sense. And I, I saw there was a lot of lot of drama. There was a lot of drama. I, I remember that. But I like I said, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're streaming again. I'm glad you're playing again. We all freaking missed you. As you can see, the recorder is still on this time. We didn't screw it up. Been recording for an hour and 31 minutes so far. Back on the shelf. Yeah, everybody, click on Ely's name and give him a follow. Really cool guy, really down to earth. Thou shalt not bow down before any graven image. Ely, thank you. Uh And Deads, do appreciate it, man. Always appreciate it, man. This one's for you. Thank you. This fucking community is awesome. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, you know what? We're going to do this. Deads gifted that. I'm going to throw out another uh, another poem from this book. I'm going to try to be careful with it. Because like I said, it's, it's old as all of us combined, probably. Let me find a... 
Okay. Uh, as I said, Jack Rainsberger, uh, death row inmate, Nevada State Prison. Copyright 1968. He was, uh, his conviction was eventually overturned. This, uh, no, Ely in here, everybody is on the same level. Sims, Deads, Vexus, everybody. We're all on the same level in here. So, okay, this, uh, this poem is entitled Suicide. We met once, sitting on a bus, going I can't remember where, for a moment not caring where or even why, and talked. But I forgot to ask your name. We met again, just in passing. Said hello and commented on how nice it would be if only the heat wasn't so great. But I forgot to ask your name. Did everyone? Wow. Some of these are pretty freaking deep. Some of these are freaking deep. Put this back in here where it's safe. <laughs> Two deep poems tonight. Who would have thunk that one? Yeah, dead. He had all the, He was in there 40 years before his conviction was overturned. But you guys, I got to step away for a second. I'm going to turn off the cam and I will be right back. A mutiny? What, Sims? You want to stage a mutiny? How about no? Uh, yes, I do have Twitter. Uh, if you scroll down actually on my profile, there's a direct link to it. I have my Instagram up there, my YouTube, my Twitter. Uh, just scroll down under the under the channel. Everything is there. And I am saving the last little bit for tomorrow night's show. I will be doing a big shot. But Deads, you're uh, you're right. Uh, if you went after him for it, but he he was convicted of other crimes, Deads. Uh, if you go look it up, there was other crimes he was in for. So I don't know how far he would get with a lawsuit or with trying to get reimbursement.
Ely, thank you. And if you want uh, my YouTube channel, uh, all my shows are immediately uploaded uh, uploaded afterwards. So if you want to catch up on all the shows, there's 200 of them there. Or tomorrow night will be 200 of them. But Twitter still allows, still allows some nudity. Did I say that out loud? Oops. Oh, you already got me on YouTube? Sweet. Yeah, there is. Deads, there's full blown on Twitter. We're not going to amplify this. We got voices coming up. And the sad thing is, we haven't gotten any EVPs yet. It's all been chat tonight. And I'm okay with that. I'm literally okay with that. Southern Fall and everything to my friends. I just kept quiet for a bit. Fair enough. Fair enough there. Hasn't been a lot going on with the paranormal lately. Sims, I'm not touching that one. I'm not going there. Deads, thank you. So, Sims. I do have to ask, what's your favorite flavored Windex? Is it the orange? Is it the blue? Is it the purple? I mean, you know, inquiring minds want to know this. Have I caught you a ghost yet? I haven't even caught me a ghost yet. I have haunted objects in my room, but those are never for sale. Okay, that's coming from a megaphone. That's coming from a loudspeaker. So that's coming from the prison next door. We can debunk that. Yeah, that's the prison next door. Oh, deads, just so you know. You need a ghost to terrorize my enemies? Be careful if you summon, summon them. Uh, at the prison, there are no jeans allowed whatsoever. Jean jackets, jean shirt, jean pants, whatever. Jean shorts, there's no jeans allowed on the prison grounds. Now, I got to make that clear to everybody who's going. Because the prison, that's all they wear over there is jean, jeans and jean jackets. As long as they're not jeans, you're fine.
people coming in. This is good. Yeah, Deads, I need at least four more recorders. You're going to wear a skirt in prison. You're brave. Yeah, Deads, I was getting ready to say... <laughs> you have two skirts? Really? You know, if you're Irish, they call those kilts. So if you wear a kilt, that's perfectly acceptable. Perfect timing. I think the O in front of your name would give that away, but these guys don't know that. But what is it? The, uh, the, uh, the car comer, uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 I'm Irish. Sims, but do you know your heritage? Echo box. You know, if, uh, dads, usually if they have Neanderthal in their genetic makeup, they've got the sloped forehead. I don't think she has a sloped forehead. And notice I said think. Okay, I think that's from the, uh, yeah, that's from the Echo Box. Only from the top, I'm kidding. the echo box you can't confirm the EVPs yeah. 
I've got my family tree back to the 1700s. That's all I know. Alrighty, Lee, uh, thank you so much for being here. It was good to see you again. Hopefully see you soon. That's freaking cool though, Deads. Okay, this is this is one of the few times you're going to see me give credit to the Echo Box. This is one of the few times you hear her ask, can you move that? Immediate response was, yeah, I will. Can you move that? That's actually kind of cool. So yeah, we're actually going to count that one. I don't know why, but we're going to count it. And that it, that does sound like a, a young child. A young girl, should I say. There's a question right there. Did I come through? Followed by, yeah, yeah, Will, then did I come through? That's strange. Echo box is just, like I said, it's radio, it's radio noise distorted. So did I come through? What do you guys think? Do you think that's legit? Or do you think that's interference? I want to kind of get your guys' opinion on this one.
we're going to count it and I can always take it away when I present it to Susan at the prison. So if it's going to be substantial like that, for now, we're going to count it. For Just for now. So guys, I'm going to I'm going to pause this for just a second. I need to get a refill on my drink. So, I'll be right back, guys. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Uh, Sims, we're not going to start singing rehab in here. We ain't going to do that tonight. It sounds like that saying Sebastian. Sebastian, Sebastian. It sounds like it's saying it in three different syllables, broken up. Sebastian. Exactly, Duds. That is actually really weird. That's a strange way. It sounds so, it does sound monotone.
and that's not coming through the echo box. I don't know if I can count this one a get out. What do you guys think? Count this one? This one is complicated to be able to count. That's a clear get out. I agree. So we'll, we'll throw the debunk up there. Whoa. This is an EVP. That's a whisper. That's a hard whisper. So it sounds like it's saying, is it off? So we are getting into some evidence tonight. This is good. Let's slow it down, Vexus. Yeah, 
It might be a stop. Stop. That might be a long, somebody saying stop, like stop, like stop talking because they've been talking for a few minutes now. Could it be the spirit telling them to stop talking? Basically, shut up. Stop. Stop. You know, it's they're, they, they don't want to say too much and get in trouble like the prisoners did if they talked after the lights out. So stop. Just one quick word. Stop. That makes sense. Vexus, that does make sense considering we are, <clears throat> well, hour 45 in, which means it's almost 9 o'clock. Wait, actually, actually, hour 45, so 7, 8.45. Yeah, it's about 9 o'clock. So stop, shut up, would, would make sense. It would make perfect sense. Good ear. Good ear, Vexus. You guys hear and listen there? Or do you think that's just interference? Quite possibly interference. <clears throat> so we're going to call this interference. We're going to debunk this. And for those just coming in or, you know, you hear her saying Sebastian all the time. Sebastian is the spirit of a little boy that was actually resided in the hotel that was on the grounds before the prison was built. And he supposedly died in a fire or something. So uh, Susan, who runs the tours out of there, uh, has made contact with Sebastian a lot of times, or at least that's the name the spirit is giving. We all know sometimes spirits will give false names for attention. But it is confirmed there is a child that died at the hotel, and that's all we know. There isn't much information beyond that. So is the child's name Sebastian? It's entirely possible. 
Got a black doe, black tail doe dropping deuce right in front of the trail cam. Oh my god. Not necessarily dropping the deuce, but dropping BBs. Go touch who? Okay, go touch Chris. Getting through these actual EVPs through this this equipment, I don't like it, guys. Okay, this might be something. It sounds like it's saying I ain't bad. Which, you know, not everybody that goes to prison is bad. They just made some bad decisions. Which is hard to... Let's slow it down and find out. Slow it down just a hair more. I think that's saying I ain't bad. Go 
back to the original. So this one, I can honestly, I think this is an EVP. I'm going to throw this up there. I think I want to confirm this one. All right, cool, guys. I'll check it up after stream. Let's go check out a deer taking a dump. What is wrong with me? We're going to go ahead and throw it up on the meter. 1962. We are at 224 overall on EVPs. Sims, probably because they did it right in front of the trail cam. Doesn't happen very often. And a lot of times they'll look right at the camera when they're doing it going... It's pups. I hope you got that video saved. Now the only only issue I have right now is for the past 30 minutes, uh, you've heard Susan, another investigator, saying Sebastian, 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 Sebastian. This might not be Sebastian. And I've said this a couple times already tonight. I don't think it's, I love it, Sebastian. I think it's another spirit trying to get their attention. Uh, they're not posted up right next to the recorder, but they're probably about three or four cells away. Because it's not 100% clear. Well, Deads, yes. It sounds like they're focused on one person, not the same tree, forest through the trees. Uh, so, uh, every, this is, this is kind of tough uh, because once you've been to the prison more than once, certain spirits will communicate with you. Not all of them, certain ones just certain ones so as much time as Susan spends there being a woman knowing there was a child that died on the grounds before it was a prison it's it's likely that that child sees Susan as maybe a mother figure and as it as it as follows her around like a little lost child but also as much time as she spends in there other spirits know that she's there to take care of the place and the spirits are happy because of that. She they're take she is taking care of their home. So it's kind of a double-edged sword on that. And like I've said, 
Susan has turned on the spirit box and my name has come through and I haven't even been there. So certain spirits are asking for you by name because they know that you're not going to judge them for what they did, but what they want to say. You'll, you're there to hear what they have to say. So for Susan, all the time it's a double-edged sword. She gets indications it may be Sebastian. It very well may be. But there's hundreds of other spirits there. And we've seen it. But a lot of them, yeah, they've been the same voice. And that's what people are going to realize when they go there more than once. The spirits are going to, certain spirits are going to choose to communicate with you and not somebody else. And that's why I say, you know what, if you feel safe, go out on your own. You're going to be surprised at what happens. Deads just don't go in acting all high and mighty. Go in humble. Go in on the level. Hey, gentlemen, I'm here to speak with you this evening. How y'all doing? And introduce yourself. And you're you're gonna you're gonna have fun the first time. They're gonna mess with you a little bit. Like I said, they see fresh meat. And they're 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 gonna push a little bit. To see what they can get. They're going to see what they can get out of you. Don't rattle. Brat. don't need to be super alert but be aware Just a lot of talk. It doesn't seem like they're going to get any more evidence. But we did get five EVPs out of that. Which is okay.
guys just do be forewarned now uh night two on task cam is seven and a half hours of audio <laughs> we've got a full two hours more on night two so night two on this recorder is going to take a while And the, uh, the Zoom recorders are probably just as long. 512 gig, you're talking... You're talking a lot of audio. Yeah, Dud's batteries are going to be your best friend. And occasionally you're going to have to go check recorders if you're going to leave any unattended. Because, uh, yeah, the spirits will drain them like that. I've had it happen a couple of times. Within an hour, the batteries are dead. Or just get a battery pack. Yeah, probably your best bet there, Deads. Their store is really close, too. So, yeah, I've, I usually just carry everything with me. I take it up with me, so. But then again, last time I drove up. And good thing about what they're doing, you hear them just, just socializing a little bit. They're not talking too loud. They're kind of just talking in a normal tone. Uh, we've heard before people doing this and the spirits tell them to shut up. They're not going to tell Susan that, but hoping we get something out of that. So the other female is Kelly, member of Chris's team.
never past Sebastian's bedtime. Here at this time, it's 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night. Sebastian went to sleep hours ago. Yeah, muted. I know. I caught it right at the last. Right as you said that. Uh, yeah, you you all you need is a battery pack with about about seven or eight extra hours of audio of battery power just in case. Because I've set it down for five hours, it's gone dead. I've set it down for seven hours, it's gone dead. So just something to plug into it to give it that extra little bump, so you don't run out of juice. Yeah. Oh, cool. he's part of our team. Oh, cool. I keep having to mute it, this planes are going over. Task on Zoom, I think I'm going to carry it with me, okay. I carry my Zoom with me. And that's the H3 VR, the binaural. With the one Zoom that I picked, that I got, it's going to need a battery pack. It chews through batteries in about four hours. Zoom H8. Oh, nice. I'd like to get that Zoom H8 for, for streaming. Uh, or what is it? The zoom, the, the the video camera with the uh, with the audio pods. Yeah, that is the uh. Oh. It's the Q8. It's the Zoom Q8. I thought it was the H8. It's the Q8. But I've got the GoPro. I don't think I'll need that. But the Q8 has better audio. It's like 300 bucks. I'm actually thinking about getting that for streaming. Yeah, the H8 you can do definitely do podcasts on. I think it even has its own phantom power. So 
So if it's got phantom power, then it's, it's well worth it. Yeah, Zoom definitely runs the roost on a on portable digital recorders. That's for sure. Guys, we have uh, actually, we're starting to come down to that time tonight. Coming up on that two hour mark, uh, there's only about five minutes left. So I do believe I'm actually going to call it here. Uh, we got five EVPs tonight. We got five pretty good EVPs. Uh, let's see where we got. Uh, we got uh, Susan saying, can you move that? Uh, response was, yes, I will. Uh, then Spirit of the Child saying, uh, did I come through? Uh, then the Sebastian. Uh, it's either, is it off or stop? I think uh, Vexus was right when it was hearing stop. And uh, I ain't bad. So yeah, being in a prison, hearing I ain't bad, of course. That's uh, pretty significant in my eyes. Yeah, Vex is boo. I know. I wish I could go all night. Unfortunately, I got work early. You know, it's <laughs> unfortunately, Brett needs a jobby job where he can't do the streamy stream. Won't be able to afford it if I get furloughed or fired again. But I had a lot of fun tonight. You guys made it so much fun. I don't know if uh, Sims passed out with her butt glued to the bed. <laughs> I can't believe the jobby job phrase. Right? I, I got to throw some stupid shit every now and then. But you guys should know this by now. It's the stupid shit that comes out of my mouth every now and then. It's all good. We have fun with it. Dead, Sims, Fexus, Ely, and everybody else who has been in here tonight. It has been so much fun. You guys have been so just interactive in the chat. And... You guys are helping bring so much to this channel. And I appreciate it. And I, I'm i forever grateful to you guys. Now, uh, now Sims, is in return, is he going to shave your head? Or are you going to go with the Sinead O'Connor look? <laughs> you got to go with the Sinead O'Connor look at least once. <laughs> Which one? Oh, my God. Yeah, I showed my age. Nothing compares to this stream, right? I'm not going to even try to do the voice. Uh, for one, I'm sober. And for <laughs> for uh, two, it wouldn't sound right. Just say nothing compares to this stream. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Make sure and be here tomorrow night for show number 200. And this is just the beginning. We hit we hit 200 in, in about 9 months. It's pretty impressive. And it's in part thanks to you guys. We're just getting started. This year next time or this time next year, excuse me. Uh, sorry to talk like Yoda, but uh, this time next year, we should be doing a lot better. A lot more shows, a lot more interactive, and a lot more evidence. You guys have a great night. God bless. See you guys tomorrow night for number 200. Y'all take care.